was like, 7 o'clock, I really wanted a cushion at Creamery, but 7 for me is like approaching bedtime. Yeah. So I was like, I need to kind of figure out like what I'm signing myself up for. I live in Westport, the hike out to a cushion it, it's not a fast drive. And then I was like, and then if I wait in line... Yeah, are you, you looking know, at a 45 minute wait right, or, or like trying, a 10 or 15 right, minute Right, I'm wait. trying to figure out like, can I eat a cushion at Creamery and still make it to bed <laughs> the time <laughs> I want to make it to bed? So then it got us talking about having like a live webcam <laughs> outside of places. No, I'm telling you. So you can see the like the wait time or what's going on. I and, have been, I've been trying to get them to do that at a cushion at Creamery for years and there are two. There are two arguments for that. Because I think the hesitation might be if there's a webcam out there that shows how long the line is, it might keep people away. And that's what I'm thinking. I don't think so. I bet there are a lot of people like me. I didn't even bother yesterday because I, I, in my mind, I knew that the the line was going to be too long. But maybe it wasn't. If I, you know, if I, if I'm picturing a longer line than there is, right? Like maybe you catch it at the time where there's like the little league games going on or whatever. Like you, you hit it at that lull. Like, Let's go right now. And you're like, go, all right, go, get go. in the car, go. Yeah, there. But there, now thinking about, it, there are so many places I think that could benefit from having something like this. Like even think about, like if you go to Horse Neck Beach, imagine being able to see the line of cars before you decide that you're going to drive out from like yeah good call wherever to go to horse neck if you look at it and you're like all right i'm gonna sit in this line on 88 for two hours that's not worth it i gotta say if you are from westport or if you have a pass to cherry and web beach it's probably the smallest parking lot for any beach that there is yeah it holds and like six cars i wish there was a webcam there if you're not there at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> you're not, you're not going to get a spot there. And, <laughs> it, it, and where are you going to go? Because you can't park across the street. That's Trip's Sporting Yard. It's private. You can't park on the road. You got to walk like a mile. Yeah. Uh, maybe half, half mile. There's nowhere to park. But it, think about all the other places that could benefit from having, like, the live look traffic cam. You know, there's a place that does do it. And it's a restaurant. And it's not around here, but it's it's up at Revere Beach. Kelly's Roast Beef. It's, you know. You are obsessed. That's a great yeah, spot. are you okay? But they have a live webcam, and you can do exactly this where you look and see, you know, is the Kelly's line crazy long, medium long, or it's okay? So Even, like, your favorite restaurant. Like, you you could say, like, it's worth it no matter what the weight is, but you still maybe want to be prepared before you get there and then get hit with the, yeah. oh, it's, an you know, an hour and ten minute wait. I got another one. What about... A webcam on the New Bedford Fairhaven Bridge. So you know when it's closed or whatever. See. That's, yeah. that's pretty big. That's I know big there one. is one for the Bragger Bridge. There's a cam out there somewhere on the internet. There is, yeah. The and traffic then, cam. Yeah, that, that, I think that'd be clutch. Where where would it be a good spot to put webcams? Where would where would make you would enhance living here, life on and the And we're not South talking Coast. about like creepy webcams. Like, oh no. <laughs> like, <laughs> Don't call and say, like, oh, the... <laughs> my yeah. neighbor Janessa's house. Yeah, <laughs> my neighbor's <laughs> backyard by her pool. The Michael Rock Show. Chill in the morning. 107.1. Fun 107.